What's up, pussies? Today I'm discussing the scariest villains to ever make the entertainment industry shit itself so profusely that it dies of anal tearing. I'm gonna skip the foreplay and jump right into this pack of hooligans. Uh, this isn't in any particular order except for the last one. Coming in hot and sexy is the villain duo Rocky and Muggsy from Looney Tunes. Uh, what can I say about these two? They're gangsters. Gangsters are fucking terrifying, and they always have been. From Al Capone to Takashi Snitch 9. Stupid. So Peter Dinklage and his massive, retarded mongoloid partner are also sure to strike fear into the hearts of children and cause any grown-ass man to unleash a torrent of shit into his undergarments. These two and Rappy McRapperson are living evidence as to why you need to fear gangsters at all times. The next douchebag to make his way onto this list is Happy Hogan from the MCU. Uh, Happy Hogan is one of the most powerful villains that the MCU has ever seen. Born from the light of a neutron star, he was sent to Earth with one mission, to kill Avengers, and so far he's been pretty successful. He's killed Iron Man, uh, which is the person he faked a friendship with to have an in with the Avengers. He tried to steal Iron Man's daughter and raise her as his own, only feeding her cow meat sandwiches to raise her. And he's tried to engage in intense homosexual intercourse with Peter Parker. Not to be confused with Spider-Man, they're entirely different people. Happy Hogan is dangerous and has the potential to destroy the entire MCU if Peter Parker rejects his pressing anal punishment again, which makes him one of the most terrifying villains I've seen in the past few years. Peter Parker should just give up his teenage virginity to R. Kelly or fuck, happy before all hell breaks loose. The next little hoodlum to find his way on my little list here is Dr. Evil. Uh, now the complexity of Dr. Evil's character comes from the fact that he was raised by Belgians. This is a truly savage culture that's led him to be a very powerful and brutal villain in the action movie business. Probably the most brutal I've seen in recent years. Uh, he's consistently demonstrated his true power and thirst for world domination. And I mean, come on, it's fucking Mike Myers. He makes any character look horrifying. We have another duo coming in with Harry and Marv. These are the wet bandits from Post Malone. And they're debatably probably the scariest villain duo to ever be seen in the entertainment industry. So picture this. You're sitting in your home alone. Macaulay caulking your bathroom cracks. When BANG! A bump is heard outside. You peer out your window and see two hulking behemoths of men creeping up to your door. Fear sits in as you realize there's nothing you can do to stop their wetness. Harry and Marv have arrived to savagely rummage through your colon. You piss yourself, your kidneys fail, and you die. There's no escape from the wet sand tits. It is a truly terrifying thing to think about. The next is arguably the most sexy motherfucker on this list. And that's Mr. Freeze from the Batman and Robin movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger gives an ice performance as the antagonist, Mr. Freeze. Okay, so let me break the ice on this one by saying he is a truly chilling character from the moment he steps on screen. This cold-hearted killer commands the entire Batman and Robin film. And anytime I see him, my dick freezes stiff with fear and passion. From start to finish, Mr. Freeze is a terrifying character that dominates the movie, whether you like it or not. This last villain is without a doubt the most terrifying that I've seen in the entertainment industry. And this is Big Yoshi. The Super Mario Brothers infinitely powerful Big, Big Yoshi. Yoshi is the one villain to ever make me cover my eyes while I'm playing a video game. He has the powers to melt your sternum through your large intestine and out your urethra without even thinking about it. He has total power over all other Mario villains including Magikarp and Internet Explorer. Don't even think about coming near Big Yoshi or your ass will be grass and your own clavicle bone will be the lawnmower. You peons are nothing compared to this multidimensional being. The sheer magnitude, magnitude of Big Yoshi and the philosophical crisis that he gives you when you think about how compared to the size of Big Yoshi, you're nothing and you'll never amount to anything and how nothing you ever do in your lifetime will be worth anything more to Big Yoshi than a random dust ball gliding past you does in your everyday life is, is a crushing thought. The perspective reality shattering that Big Yoshi inflicts on viewers is enough to probably make him the most terrifying villain to ever be a part of the entire entertainment industry. So there's my totally informational breakdown of the entertainment industry and its scariest villains. Remember to like the video and subscribe and share the video if you want to. 
and comment and tell me just how totally Big Yoshi could fuck up your entire life. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.